then she had to go on a ventilator. And uh, I think I think she knew that wasn't a good thing for her. She knew that, you know, a lot of people, they go on that, they never come off. A Surrey woman is believed to be BC's first nurse to die from complications due to COVID-19. She's being remembered as a devoted patient care coordinator here at Peace Arch Hospital in White Rock. We met in high school. So, so we met in 1981. A family is in mourning after Diana Law passed away on April 14th. The 57-year-old nurse spent months in the hospital battling COVID-19. We originally, myself and my children, thought it was a problem with some of her medication because she had had a kidney transplant about eight years ago. Her family took her to Vancouver General Hospital and shortly after testing positive for COVID-19, she was moved to the ICU. Law lost her battle with the virus just under two weeks ago. The mother of two is being remembered as an attentive nurse who spent her life caring for others. Law's husband of 30 years, Glenn Colshaw, says he's not sure how she contracted the virus, but says he constantly feared for his wife throughout the pandemic while she was working on on the front line. I kind of was concerned that she was working in this, but I mean, it's not like she could just not work. No, Diana was a really committed nurse. Uh, she was really caring and very attentive for her patients uh, and highly regarded by her colleagues. Christine Sorensen with the BC Nurses Union was devastated when she heard the news. She says it has hit healthcare workers hard knowing one of their own has died from COVID-19. This death from a, of a colleague will be very difficult for them uh, and and they will continue to do the very best they can to care for their patients, but they're struggling right now. Uh, and we really are at a tipping point in the healthcare system. At Monday's briefing, both Health Minister Adrian Dix and Provincial Health Officer Dr. Bonnie Henry took a moment to acknowledge the loss. We think of her, I know everyone in healthcare is thinking of her today. It is a tragedy. It is something that affects all of us in the healthcare system when one of our own passes away. Law's husband says she had just a year left until retirement. Colshaw now worries for their 16-year-old son, who was particularly close to his mom and is taking her death hard. Sorry. He was quite close with his mother. In White Rock, Ashley Burr, City News.